Loop Deck is a company that creates a lot of Loop Deck products. They sent me the Loop Deck Live to review, see if actually helps my workflow. After a while when you're video editing, it becomes a daunting task because it takes forever to edit. You literally could spend hours editing a video on a five minute footage. After a while, it's just so daunting. I said that already. It, it, I mean, I love to edit videos. That's really where creativity comes in. You put in different things. The problem is the controls. These consoles, that I found makes my editing workflow really, really fast. I mean, really fast. It cuts it in half. What used to take five hours would take about three hours. That's really what the Loop Deck Live is. Now, there's a lot of different products out there in the market in comparison to the Loop Deck Live, which I'm gonna talk about in this video because I used a different one for about a year and a half, maybe two years. And when this Loop Deck Live was sent to me, man, it's a game changer. So let's talk about it. So basically it's a power customizable console. You can use this for streaming, photo and video editing. And the interface that they have, which comes with a program that you download from their website. And it really works with any platform there is or programs that you're using for your workflow, whether it's Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve or any other platforms on the market. And the best part is it actually controls your computer. The build quality of this, it's basically basically made of aluminum cover. It does have industrial dials and it has this tactical feel on them when you turn those dials. And the touchscreen buttons gives you a haptic feedback. Now the dials, besides it rotating, you can actually press those dials as well and you can customize an action on what it does when you press those dials. Now, as far as the screen, you can literally swipe left and right and it gives you a lot more actions depending on how you customize the buttons. Now, as far as connectivity or connection, this is a wired connection. When they send it to you, it comes with a USB-C, also with an adapter. So you can have a different application depending on the, the ports that you have in your laptop or on your computer. Me, I use it for my MacBook Pro. I all MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, I also use it on my Mac Studio. Obviously, you want to learn how to customize and what to customize and all that stuff. But the beautiful thing is, as soon as you get it, it actually comes with a default presets already that is usable. It serves as your baseline and then from there you can customize it, you know, tweak it a little bit. But for me, the just the default alone based on the programs, it's already already very useful. Now the software it comes with it, it basically controls your operating system as well. So the homepage I have is this. When you have the cursor clicked on your desktop, it would automatically detect that you're trying to control your computer. So when you look at on the pad or in the loop deck itself, it gives you the home screen. This enables you to control your computer. So basically on the top left, if you look, I have a lock screen on there. And if I wanna launch Final Cut Pro, it's right there immediately. Now, the beautiful thing is how you move these icons around is easy. It's basically, you just drag and drop. I love that about it. What you see on the screen of the loop deck actually changes depending on the program you're using. So for right now, since I'm on a home screen of my laptop or in my computer, it shows me the home screen where I could control my computer. Now, if I open Final Cut Pro, all I have to do is tap the icon of the Final Cut Pro. It automatically launches the Final Cut Pro, which I'll move it in the screen right here. Now, as soon as I launch the Final Cut Pro, what happens is this actually changes as well. So once the Final Cut Pro is open and you actually go back to Loop Deck, it gives you this settings since it detects that I'm using Final Cut Pro and it gives you different controls for color grading, dials, uh, and a command and shortcuts. And all you gotta do is move this around, drop and drag all that stuff. And then as far as the dial, if you click on those dials, top side, it tells you there's an icon right here that when you turn that dial, this is the action that it's gonna do, which is this one right here, adjusts the clip. And then if you press it, 
then it basically just resets the clip or the, the height of the clip. Now you can customize up to 14 pages, but I'm telling you right now, I only use up maybe up to three pages and it, they're all connected with each other. I mean, 14 pages, I don't know. All I'm saying is I don't think you'll ever need to use 14 pages, but it's good to know that you can customize after 14 pages. And all you gotta do really is that you swipe, 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 and it'll just give you more options. And then in the bottom, there's a different one. So what I did with the bottom was if I click here, this is the home screen on the program that I'm actually using, which is right now Final Cut Pro. And then I assigned dial, uh, button number one that actually gives me when I'm working with my timeline. And number two gives me color wheels so I could do color grading quickly and then number three i used it for i think i used it for audio no actually the yeah audio is some effects that i use and on a four i don't think i even use four so i only use three buttons and then if i want to go back to home is going back to the very home which for me is basically editing the timeline so let's go back to final cut pro and there's some key features that i want to highlight in this video that helps me a lot make it quicker this is how normally it looks like right one of my favorite parts about using the loop deck live is the dials so this is how i got it customized so the dials if i click on here it zooms the timeline quickly and then i can even adjust the height of the click by just turning those dials and if i click on it it just you know it basically resets it so those are the two of my favorite uses of the dials and i also use it for color grading but not so much i'd like i normally just use my touch pad for color grading than the dials but hey you can still customize your dials for color grading and also right here the blade tool which cuts it automatically instead of me typing b or a on my keyboard i just uh, literally press this to cut the footage so that's the blade tool and then i can easily detach the audio but this i, I think this is a drone footage so i have detached audio but it doesn't have audio so it, it won't work and then if i want to highlight it all i create a compact clip at least for me that's how i used it uh, as far as the customized buttons and you can do yours like i said it already comes with preset buttons as a baseline and that baseline is actually very useful already comparing this to what i used to use and i use the tour box right here this was my go-to console before and i'm gonna talk about the comparison of using this compared to the loop deck the first part is assigning the buttons toolbox also comes with their own program which i deleted on my computer already because i don't use this anymore assigning those buttons is such a hassle because it basically records your keyboards for example if you want to assign a button right here so you click the button and you have to press a key on your keyboard to assign that action. Problem is, if you have one of those smaller or shorter keyboard that Ma that Apple makes, it doesn't have the, the number pad. Since it's recording keystrokes, when you hit option or function and the number, it doesn't recognize it. Now, if you have a keyboard like mine that has all the number pads then you're fine because like i said the program of the toolbox is basically just recording the keystroke comparing it to the loop deck to assign a specific action for example all you have to do is find an action that's already available here right so let's see on number six let's assign an appearance let's do rest reset backlight so all i gotta do is drag that here and that's it. So it already has a preset actions assigned on its software. So it doesn't really record, but it can record a keystroke if you want to, but 
you get what I'm saying. It's, it's just way better as far as assigning actions. Another thing is the haptic feedback. You don't have that in a toolbox. And then the home screen controls. The home screen controls, actually the way it works is that since the Loop Deck Live detects where what you're working on, if you click on just your desktop, it actually changes automatically. Now on the home screen that I have, which controls my Mac at this point, besides launching application, it can lock my screen. I have it on the top left because my keyboard right now, this setup does not have lock screen. I could always just, you know, go on the Apple logo and then lock the screen or have it on sleep. But right here, I just hit the button and it locks my screen. Let me log back in. And then I have Launchpad. It launches all my application. I have Safari. Let's, let's look at the look. If you compare this side by side, if you look at the toolbox, it's basically looks like a, an old school gaming remote. <laughs> That's a lot of buttons on there. If you look at the loop deck, Yep, it has everything. And then you can see what you're doing and you swipe it, it gives you more option. It's just really by far, I don't even wanna spend more time on the looks because Loop Deck is, is way better looking device compared to the Toolbox. And finally, the price. This actually surprised me because if I would known about Loop Deck Live before, I probably would have gotten the Loop Deck Live. Now, if you go to Amazon, really, and you look at, these are all available on Amazon and on their own websites. I'll put the links in the description, but if you type in Loop Deck Live on Amazon, it's about 268 bucks and you'll get it right away. The tour box is the same price, 268, but for the 268, that's the, the Bluetooth version. It's up to you. But for me, for the value, I'd go for the Loop Deck Live. Looking at both products, and look at the prices. I think the Loop Deck Live has way, way more value. For less than a hundred bucks more, you can literally use this thing longer. And you can grow with it. Hope this helps out. Thanks for watching. That's all I have in this video. Put in the comments below if you have experience in any of these two devices. My name is Bombo. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe.